Hi, and welcome back to my channel. This story comes out of Pasadena, Texas. A man accused of fatally shooting his girlfriend overnight in Pasadena told police it was a mistaken identity. He thought it was a burglar. The family of the victim, Christina Lee, is disputing this account of mistaken identity. The shooting happened at an apartment at 4029 Burke Road near Fairmont shortly before 3.30 a.m. on Monday. Pasadena police and Lee's boyfriend told them he heard a break in the window and grabbed his weapon. Yeah, right. Investigation says there's, there, there is no damage to the door of the apartment though it is unclear if the damage is old or new. We're going to collect all shell casings. We're going door to door asking questions until it's, until it, it's unclear if the damage is as old or new. We're going to collect shell casings. We're going to look at all the tire trackings and all of the trackings of the path that the bullets took and compare that to his statement and try to see if everything matches up. If it is truly an accidental, obviously this is very sad situation. St. Paul Granson said, if he did believe there was a break-in, and in fact, there wasn't, he ended up shooting his loved one. It's a very difficult situation for him. If there is, if there was an intruder, obviously he wants to find one, find a doorbell maybe, cameras, or maybe cameras at their apartment complex to see what is going on out here, to look for suspects out there, or what happened at the door that startled him enough to get his weapon and start shooting. Police said the boyfriend stayed at the scene and is cooperating with the investigators. Lee's family, however, paints a very different picture. Unbelievably, Lee's mother said she was too distraught to speak more about her daughter's death. However, her cousins want to speak up on his behalf, on Lee's behalf. She's been getting away from him. She's been telling family and friends he's stalking her. His cousin even. Now, according to Lee's cousin, she had been trying to get away from him for some time now because he had been stalking her and things, says her cousin, Tasha McCoy. Family members invited ABC 13 inside the apartment where they showed us the 16 bullet holes in the walls of the bath bathroom. Relatives said in their opinion the boyfriend made up for the made up the story about the intruder. He should be in jail, another cousin, Travis McCoy said. You didn't have to go to this extent. And then you lie about it and cover it up. It just doesn't make sense. One thing not in dispute is the lo that Lee's boyfriend that Lee's boyfriend shot the shots. Pasadena police recovered a weapon on the scene. Lee's boyfriend was still held at the headquarters on Monday. Investigators said he was under arrest on an outstanding warrant. In an unrelated case, it was unclear what the case was all about. I guess you just sometimes you think you chose the right person. And it just so happened not to be. But now they leave behind a daughter. If you like this video, please hit, hit like, share, subscribe.